Place your hand 10 centimeters over a candle flame. You'll probably be able to hold it there for about 5 seconds before your palm starts burning up and you'll pull your hand away. But if you tilt your hand a little bit and then place it over the flame, you'll be able to hold it there for a little while longer before you pull your hand away. If you tilt your hand even more, then the heat from the flame will no longer directly be hitting your palm and you'll be able to hold your hand over the flame for as long as you want. If only I had remembered this experiment in my first climate science class. In that class, the professor asked us a question. Even though they're at the same elevation, why does it snow in Shimla and not in Uti? That's easy. Damn it! If you are unaware of Indian geography, Shimla and Uti are both famous hill stations in India. Shimla is in North India at an elevation of 2,276 meters above mean sea level. Uti is in South India at an elevation of 2,240 meters above mean sea level. Despite very similar altitudes, it is much colder in Shimla than in Uti. It's not just Shimla and Uti. Looking at this from a broader perspective, we're always taught that as we go higher, it gets colder. Then why would any two places at the same altitude have different temperatures? After enjoying our discomfort for a bit, you know the way teachers generally do, he finally gave us the answer. Uti and Shimla fall on different latitudes. Ah, latitude, yeah. Huh? How? Uh, I had no idea. But I do now. The Earth has a curved surface. Because of this curvature, different latitudes receive the sun's energy at different angles. At the equator, sunlight falls perpendicular to the Earth's surface. Just like when we placed our hand horizontally over the flame, the high angle focuses a lot of energy on the surface and makes it hot. As we move to higher latitudes, sunlight hits the surface at lower and lower angles. Just like when we tilted our hand over the candle flame and the flame felt less hot, smaller angles reduce sunlight's intensity, making the higher latitudes colder than the lower latitudes. Sunlight also has to travel a longer distance through the atmosphere to reach higher latitudes, and the atmosphere is really good at dispersing the sunlight and reducing the intensity of the heat. This also helps in the cooling. So let's look at my professor's question again. Uti lies 14.1 degrees north of the equator and is 1,271 kilometers away from the equator. It receives direct sunlight at a high angle and the sunlight also has to pass through a shorter section of the atmosphere. Together, it makes Uti hot. Well, it doesn't snow there. Shimla, on the other hand, lies 31 degrees north of the equator and is more than twice as far from the equator as Uti. 3,460 kilometers. This reduces the angle between the sun's rays and the surface, and it also slightly increases the distance that sunlight has to travel through the atmosphere. And that is why it snows in Shimla and not in Oti. If only I had a time machine right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's a full transcript of the video in the link in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and keep supporting us as we try to make the world ecologically intelligent.